if there is a large volume of data, we should go for automation testing. Exactly. See, example, Ashirisha, that you are taking any tea or coffee? Yes. How many times you are taking? Once. Once. How by manually or mission? Mostly um, prefer manually, right? Yes. Why? Because why I am taking daily one tea, one coffee, why mission waste of cost, correct or not? Yeah. Then, mm -hmm. if you want to take daily 200 teas, 300 coffees, then manually is it possible? No. No, we need automation, we need mission, correct or not? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, same like that, if it is a small size project, test manually. No need any automation. No need any automation tools. So if it is a if it is a big size project, if it is a big size project, then we need to choose automation testing. Why? Because manual is taking too much of time. So we need to we need to mm -hmm. choose automation testing. Understand, Aishwarya? Yeah, got it. Yeah. See, once again, if it is a small size project, test manually. If it is a big size project, so use automation testing. See, here we have two applications. One is www.bigclasses.com. Second one is www.yahoo.com. Okay. Uh, now, mm -hmm. to, conduct, to conduct testing on bigclasses.com, only manual testing is enough, right? Yes. Why? Because very small application, very small requirements, no need any automation tools, manually can test the application, correct or not? Mm -hmm. And, and, see, yahoo.com, yahoo application manually, is it possible? No. So we need any automation tool, correct or not? Yes. Yeah. yeah. See, if it is a small size project, so conducting testing manually, if it is a big size project, then use automation tools. Okay, mm -hmm. automation tools. See, next. Fine, uh, fine. Also, manual and automation. Uh, now, see here, what is automation tools? Any idea? Like, uh, see, just we discussed uh, manual is my legs, automation mm -hmm. my bike, car, horse, like that. Mm -hmm. What is automation tools in IT sector, in IT industry? Any idea? Load runner, HP quality center. Exactly. See, Those see, things? first letter is no QD, QDB and selenium mm -hmm. and load runner, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now present in market three tools is there. Now in three let us know which one is the important. Uh, any idea, Aishwarya, which one is the important tool, which one is the best tool to conduct testing? Um, no, I, no, sorry. Okay, Shirisha, any idea? Uh, QTP. Why QDB? We are learning QDB. That's why you said best QDB? No. <laughs> See, okay, okay, fine. Okay, first let us know which one is like, what is useful of QDB and what is advantage of Selenium, what is advantage of load runner? See, load runner, the meaning, see, the load runner, meaning is load, with the load runner. See, example, take one share auto, one share auto, uh, one 10 persons, when 10 persons load, running different, right? Mm -hmm. One person load running different, right? Yes. Yeah. And the five persons load running different means based on load the running different. Say open on G on uh, IA Facebook application, Facebook application. So log in hundred people, then performance different. Log in one lakh people, performance different. And log in one crore people, mm -hmm. performance different. Correct or not? Yes. Mm -hmm. See, to check the performance of the application, we can use load runner only with load runner, only with load runner. Just we can we can just load runner only, so we can check performance of the application. Simple one thing, not correctness. Only application fastly working or not. And again, to check the correctness, we need to use QDB and Selenium. Understand? QDB okay. and Selenium. To check the performance of the application, to check the performance of the application, we can use load runner. See, with load runner only, with load runner, so we only, we can check performance, not correctness. Again, to check the correctness, test engineers, we can select a QDP tool or Selenium tool. Understand? Okay. So, what is the, now, what is the uh, useful of load runner, Aishwarya? To check the performance of the application. Exactly. To check the performance of the application, we can use load runner. And to check the correctness, use QDB and Selenium. With the QDB Selenium, again performance is not possible. Again to check the performance comes into load runner. Understand? Okay. And I have a question is, here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, what do we mean by correctness? See, correctness. 
open Gmail application, uh, open uh, one flight application. I am entering valid mm -hmm. agent name, valid password, okay. valid password, something. Okay. okay. What we are expecting with valid agent name, valid password, we are working correctly, working or not? We are checking, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Correct. But see, correctness we are not able to check. Any output mm -hmm. is coming or not? Only performance of the application we can check with load runner. Load runner. Okay. Got it. So correctness we are not able to check means when I will give valid agent name, valid password, it's correctly working or not, we are not able to check. Any output correctly, fastly coming or not, we can check with load runner. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Got it. Fine. Uh, fine. Now Selenium. So Selenium and QTP. What is Selenium QTP? See, QTP is a HP product and it is somewhere $10,000. With HP, $10,000. And with HP, with QTP, we can check with correctness, not performance is not, uh, we are not able to check, only we can check correctness of the application. And the Selenium, it's a mm -hmm. developer provide parts, and uh, see, it's, uh, it's also free tool, means open source. Everyone, we can download from internet and we can use this. Correct or not? See, QTP is somewhere $10,000, and the Selenium is a open source. So, to test the application, which one tool is the best, uh, Shirisha? Selenium. Selenium. Why? Open source. That's why. Free. That's why. No, no. See here. Okay. Yeah. You said Selenium. One disadvantage is there with Selenium. If it is a QTP, then we can test both applications. Already we discussed our applications. One is uh, Windows application. Second one is uh, Windows uh, web application. Second one is Windows application. Right? Mm -hmm. Like with QTP, we can test both applications, web and window also, web and window also. But the Selenium, we mm -hmm. can test only web application, Windows application, it's not possible. Understanding or not? Okay, Sirisha, you said, okay. you said uh, Selenium is best. Okay, I learn Selenium. I join one company. So, my project is going on. After that, one year, after one year, we got it, one more project. It's related to uh, web application, Windows application. Then, with Selenium, checking Windows application elements, is it possible? No. Then again, we need to learn QTP. Correct or not? Yes. So, if you learn QTP, mm -hmm. then we can test both applications, like web and Windows also. <laughs> okay, see nowadays Selenium also good, but what I am saying, see HP Evergreen tool, but Selenium not like that, it's a seasonal seasonal fruit like that. See, it's not Evergreen tool Selenium, so after one year there is no guarantee tool is there or not, but QTP not like that. Why? Because, see Selenium is a open source free tool, but QTP not like that, it's a licensed tool, understand? But you said, sir, when compared to sell QTP, be selling free to like open source now open source but see here uh, I make a purchase on mobile I am going to one market okay uh, um, so I, I have some expectations like I need some features same features two mobiles is there one mobile Samsung mobile one mobile China mobile Samsung mobile something mm -hmm. 10,000 rupees something else and China mobile China mobile uh, something 1,000 rupees so which one is the best for quality purpose Samsung the Samsung yeah. mobile. Why? Yeah. Why? Because see, costly, but quality is there. Correct or not? If it is a China mobile, there is no guarantee. There is no warranty. Same like that. There is no quality also. So that is the useful of QTP. That is difference is QTP. To learn Selenium, first we should learn Core Java basics. Without Core Java basics, we are not able to understand Selenium. But, but. Uh, uh, see, if you if you coming from non-IT people, then to understand Selenium, to understand Core Java, you should learn C plus C also. But uh, if you don't know like anything else, you're not able to learn Selenium. But QTP not like that. Just the VB script is enough. Example, see, uh, what is VB script? Uh, see, to learn Selenium, some programming knowledge is required. But to learn QTP, no need any programming knowledge. But only VB script is enough. So just we said na no need any programming for QTP. But why you are telling VB script is required? See, see, VB script is not programming, scripting. Programming knowledge different, scripting knowledge different. Understand or not? Mm -hmm. Programming knowledge different, scripting knowledge different. What is the difference between programming knowledge and scripting knowledge? See, programming knowledge to develop the application they can use programming and to test the application they can use scripting. See, uh, 
Shirisha, you remember our tenth last time as we are learning some formulas, A square plus B square, is it formula programming? It's a formula. Exactly, same like this, some functions is there in QDP, with a TR40 in VB, to use the QDP, no need any programming knowledge to learn the QDP, understand now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which one is the best tool, Aishwarya? Uh, QTP is better than yeah, Selenium. Yeah, so better than Selenium. First land QTP, after we can go for Selenium. And I think, you know, but first important QTP. With QTP easily we can get the job, we can survey in market nowadays. Okay? Only with uh, Selenium we are not able to serve. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I have yeah. a question. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, how easy is BB scripting to learn? See, BB script actually uh, is a function, so you no need to study VB script, book, something else. See, before I explain QTP, I will explain which is required for QTP, VB script, because I am taking like uh, VB scripting classes. First, uh, first we can discuss VB script, after we can go to QTP. So easily you can learn that one. So you no need to learn so separate okay. VB script, you no need to study separate VB script books. Just attend classes, and okay. before go to QTP, I will explain VB script also. And I think enough. Okay, oh, got it, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so which one is the best tool? QDP, correct or not? Yes. Yeah, yeah. fine. See. Uh, manual automation testing or discussing, fine. So any, any, uh, any uh, like manual testing or automation testing, what is development process? Any idea? Any idea like what the is development process? Testing development process? No, like no, you are no, asking for SDLC cycle? Yes, DLC, software development life cycle. Mm -hmm. See, what is SDLC? SDLC starts from, in India, Aishwarya? Yeah, yeah, planning, designing, then development, yeah. testing or in and integration, then implementation yes. or production. See, okay, you said first planning something else. To make the plan, mm -hmm. first we need one project, correct or not? Yeah. Yeah, first who will finalize the project? The project manager with the sponsor. No, 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 see, 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 first try to understand, SDLC, SDLC stands mm -hmm. for Software Development Software Development Lifecycle. See, now yeah. SDLC starts from, I am writing this here, this I am writing here, SDLC starts from first to Software Bidding, Software Bidding. What is software bidding? Okay. What is the meaning of software bidding? Means so bid the software. At this stage, first the CEO. Our CEO stands for Shirisha in India, CEO stands for Chief Executive Officer. CEO stands for Chief Executive Officer. What is CEO work? Mm -hmm. Searching for projects at outside. Searching for projects at outside. First CEO, he will go to client side and finalize the project. Understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, uh, CEO first the software bidding, at this stage CEO go to clients and finalize the project. See, discussing about budget, something it takes, everything, and you can finalize the project at software bidding stage. So project finalized by, mm -hmm. I said, yeah, project finalized by? The CEO. CEO. See, once completion of software bidding, then, okay, we got it project. Now, to develop the application to run this project, we need one project manager, correct or not? Correct. Yes. So, to select the project manager, you know, come back to our organization, we can arrange one meeting with all project managers. This is called mm -hmm. kickoff kick off meeting. This is called kick off meeting. See, software meeting at this stage, CEO go to client side and finalize the project. So, once you finalize the project and to select the project manager, see here to develop the application, like to develop the application and to test the application and project, even project manager, correct or not? Mm -hmm. so, so, CEO come back to organization, he can arrange one meeting with all project managers. Actually, in IT sector, in IT sector, any kind of startup meeting can be called kickoff meeting. Not only this one, any kind of startup meeting can be called kickoff meeting. So, at this stage, at this stage, CEO come back to organization, he can arrange one meeting mm -hmm. with all project managers. That meeting is called kickoff meeting. Why this meeting? Why this meeting? CEO to select the project manager. Understand or not? Yeah. Yeah, see, 
or like how he example he connect on meeting with 100 project managers from 100 project managers now or 110 projects uh, sitting on the bench on bench which means already the project completed they are looking for they are waiting for next project right mm -hmm. and projects if it is a banking domain like who is a good who is a have good experience in banking domain so select that person as a project manager mm -hmm. Understand? See, first software bidding, CEO go to client set and finalize the project. After the kickoff meeting, CEO come back to organization, he can arrange one meeting with project managers. Why? To select the project manager. See, at software bidding stage, so project finalized. At kickoff meeting stage, project manager selected. Understand or not? So yes. once kickoff meeting is completed, next, next project, project initiation note. Project initiation. Right on the fan. Project initiation note means project initiation means starting, right? Mm -hmm. Project starting document prepared by project manager. It consists of details of the project, not requirements. So requirements are different, details are different. Once project manager is finalized, then project manager can prepare. So if project manager can prepare project initiation note. What is it called? Project initiation note. It's prepared by project manager. It consists of details of the project. So details different, requirements different. It consists of details of the project. And second up. Yeah. So is this like a project charter? The project initiation note. Like that. Hello. Understand, Hello? Surya. I Surya. Understand? Yeah. yeah. I didn't hear your reply. Is this like a project uh, charter? Is it the same yeah. as a project charter? Yeah, same, same like that. Okay, okay. Okay, see, this is some, this is some detailed document like uh, client information and what is the duration, what is the domain, everything, every information is there. Yeah, got it. Okay. Yeah. See, after completion of project initiation note, next requirement gathering, requirement gathering. Mm -hmm. First, let us know what is requirement like client expectation. Example, oh, I uh, just I established one bank. I need one bank website. So in my bank website, just I need some logos. I need something color. I need something else. Those are my requirement, client requirement. Correct or not? Mm 